Hello, welcome. Please pause the video, read the problem, try it on your own, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so we've got a three-part question right here. And this is a question that's about something called zip plus four codes, so zip codes. And in the United States, these codes help us find different areas for mail to travel. So for example, one area code, um, one zip area code, excuse me, is 11730. And then this tells you a location to start with. And this is what most people will put on a letter, this five digit. And then if you want to be more precise, 2639, that's another area within 11730. So these codes help denote where mail is going all over the United States. And these three questions are about those codes. Now some assumptions that aren't clear but are in this problem right here are that each digit can be 0 through 9. So there are 10 possibilities right, for each digit. And repeats are allowed. So for each digit. And the other thing is that repeats are allowed. Now, it's not stated explicitly in the problem, but you can see from the example that there are repeated numbers and that you can see 0 all the way up to 9 as digits here. So question 1 says, how many different zip plus 4, plus four codes are possible? So this is a permutation type question, right? It's all the different um, orders that we can have here. And what, because we have repetition, if we, um, we can always have 10 digits per spot. So the first five spots would be 10 to the fifth possibilities, right? So for each of the digits you pick for the first spot, there are 10 choices. There are another 10 that could follow and 10 after that, right? So that's 10 to the fifth possibilities. And this dash, don't let the dash throw you off in the middle there. That's just a placeholder. We can't move that dash. And in fact, here, on the right-hand side, we have 10 to the fourth possibilities. Now, I put this dash in here, but it looks like we're minusing. So I'm going to erase that dash and put a multiplication because altogether we have this many possibilities which is 10 to the ninth right and that is a billion possibilities um, sometimes you might be inclined to say well why is it not 10 permutation uh, 10 choose 5 in permutations here and then 10 uh, in groups of 4 here well this would be counting 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 and that right this is doesn't allow for repetition right so these permutations right here are incorrect because repetition is allowed now in the second problem here it says how many zip plus four codes are palindromes and a palindrome is a number that reads the same from left to right as right to left so here's one example i'll just write it out that help me think of the problem one one two three four Okay, so you can see it goes one, one, two, three, four is in the middle, and then we have, I'm going to ignore this dash here, three, two, one, one. So you can see that one, one, two, three, and three, two, one, one are reflections of each other, almost with a, like the middle here is like a mirror, right? They're just the same digit, digits in reverse order. So the question is, how many ways can this happen? Well, what I like to think about, first of all, that this middle piece can be any number, okay? So there are 10 possibilities, 0 through 9. And then I'm just, just going to focus on this piece right here. Because when I pick my first digit, there are 10 choices. And that's going to correspond over here to this digit. Now over here, there's only one choice. Because it has to be the same as whatever number I chose in this spot. right? So if I chose a 1 here, there has to be a 1 here. There's no other choice. If I chose a 2, there has to be a 2 here, and so on and so forth. Well, you would say, Sean, but doesn't that mean there's 10 possibilities here as well? No, there's just one possibility because we're already counting those 10 here. Whatever 10 numbers we're choosing from the first spot will have to match whatever numbers we have here. So altogether, there are 10 times 1 possibilities. And the same is true here. Whatever 10 numbers I can choose for this spot, they have to be equal over here. Okay, so that's another 10 and a 1. And then here as well, 10. See, this is going. And 1 and then another 10 and 1. And we're multiplying all those numbers. That's just 10 to the fifth. Now just one last time, let me try and convince you that this makes sense. So one way to understand, again, why it's 10 here and then 1 there, whatever number I put here, 1, 2, 3, 4, dot, 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 all the way up to 10. And then over here, I'm just saying there are 10 possibilities for the first spot. 
whatever numbers I choose over here have to match whatever number I chose first. So there really only are 10 possibilities here between these two spots. So if I chose a 4 here, it has to be a 4 there. But if I choose a 3 here, it has to be a 3 here, right? These two things have to match. So that's why there's only 10 possibilities. All right, um, we have one more part. Here it says, what is the exact probability that a randomly chosen zip plus 4 code is a palindrome? Well, probability, you're looking for all the ways the thing could happen out of all the possibilities. So all the ways we can get a palindrome, we just found that is 10 to the 5th. Out of all the possibilities, we just found that as well as 10 to the 9th. And here you might remember with these exponents you subtract, so you can get 10 to the negative 4th, which is the same as 1 divided by 10 to the 4th. And I'm thinking that's 0 0.0001. And all I thought there was, all right, well, if I take 1 and divide it by 10 to the 4th, 4 times, I divide once, twice, 3, 4 times. And that's our probability. All right, I hope this helped.